Hello and welcome back to GFC Visions Growing in Friendship with Christ. As you can see, the background that I have behind me is not the same as my, uh, my flat in Dublin. I'm spending uh, about five or six days in the beautiful area of Ackle Island. It's uh, one of the most, most scenic parts of the, of the country. It, just off the coast, uh, uh, there's a, a lovely island called Ackle. And uh, I have a friend who, who lives out here and uh, he invited me to, to spend a few days here. So I'm, um, I'm doing my videos for the next three or four days from Ackle Island. Today being uh, Wednesday of the first week of Advent, we'll sing an Advent hymn. Today, the 2nd of December, is the feast of uh, a couple of different saints. Uh, one is a young girl uh, named Saint Bibiana. She died as a Roman, uh, as a martyr in Rome in uh, around the year 383. And uh, the other is, is an Irish uh, monk, a very famous Irish abbot named Saint Finian, Saint Finian of Clonard. So I'll read a little bit about his life from the Wikipedia website that I use, and, uh, and then we'll pray a decade of the rosary, okay? St. Finian of Clenard, also known as St. Fianon, was one of the early Irish monastic saints. He lived from the year 470 to the year 549, and he founded Clenard Abbey, which is in modern-day County Meath. The Twelve Apostles of Ireland studied under him. St. Finian of Clenard, along with St. Enda, is considered one of the fathers of Irish monasticism. Finian was born in the Kingdom of Leinster, and his birthplace is generally supposed to have been near the present town of New Ross. Um, at an early age, he was placed under the care of the Bishop of Trim, and according to some sources, he studied for a time at the monastic center of St. Martin of Tours in modern day France. This abbey was founded by St. Martin was noted for its austerity. He later went to Wales and continued his studies at the mon monastery of Cadoc the Wise. He remained there for three years in prayer and study. And he made copies of Rome's classics, spiritual writings, and of St. Jerome's Vulgate Bible. After a sojourn in Wales of roughly 30 years, he returned to his native land of Ireland. 30 years away from Ireland seems too long when we consider Finian's achievements in this country. Finian came first to a place in County Wicklow at the foot of Sleeve Condala, where Angus, the King of Leinster, granted him a site land for his monastery. 
And there he found, he then founded a monastic community on Skellig Michael, off the coast of Kerry, though this is doubted by some historians. From there he went to, went to St. Bridget's Monastery in Kildare. Around the year 520, he was led at last by an angel to Clenard in County Meath on the River Boyne, which he was told would be the place of his resurrection. In Clenard, fin Finian built a little cell and a church of clay and entered on a life of study, mortification, and prayer. The fame of his learning and sanctity soon spread wide and far, and scholars of all ages flocked from every side to his monastic retreat center. Finian established a monastery modeled on the practice of the Welsh monasteries and based on the traditions of the Desert Fathers and the study of scripture. The rule of Clenard Abbey was known for its strictness and its asceticism, and the pupils of St. Finian, who became the founding fathers of monasteries, are described as leaving Clenard, bearing a book or a crozier or some other object, suggesting that a working scriptorium and craft workshops were established at Clenard at an early date. Later life and death. In the office of St. Finian, it is stated that there were no fewer than 3,000 pupils getting instruction at one time in the school of Clenard. The master excelled in the exposition of the sacred scriptures, and to this fact must be mainly attributed the extraordinary popularity which his lectures enjoyed. His gift for teaching and absolute dedication to the ascetic ideal inspired an entire generation of Irish young men. Clenard drew students from various parts of Europe. Ciaran of Clonmacnoise Noise and St. Columkill of Iona are among the many who trained under him. They and many others took their seeds of knowledge from Finian's monastery at Clenard and planted them abroad with great success. He died in a plague in the year 549 and his burial place is in his own church in Clenard. We'll say a decade of the rosary now and we'll ask St. Finian and St. Patrick and all the great Irish saints, St. Bridget of Kildare, St. Kieran of Clamach Noise, St. Aidan, St. Malachy, St. Oliver Plunkett, there's just so many. We'll ask them to pray for us for, for this Advent season that we would rekindle some of that love for Jesus Christ and his Blessed Mother that these saints, uh, the fire that they lit, that it would uh, begin to burn brightly again in this country. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. We'll say, since it's for Tuesday, the Sorrowful Mysteries. We'll say the third Sorrowful Mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Our Lady of Knock, pray for us. St. Finian, St. Patrick, and all the saints of Ireland, pray for us. watching GFC Visions Growing in Friendship with Christ coming to you from Ackle Island. We'll be with you again tomorrow, hopefully, with a video on the wonderful saint, uh, patron saint of the missions, Saint Francis Xavier. May you have a good day and God bless and protect you always. Amen. Mm -hmm.